In this chapter, you learn the basics of how to prepare a budget. Preparing a budget is of vital importance for running a business. It is very difficult to achieve your goals if you don't have a plan for getting there. The budget is management's plan for getting to where it wants to go. That is true no matter what type of organization you are running and no matter what size. Even a one-person operation benefits from laying out a formal budget. You will see that a budget is actually a collection of individual budgets. For example, a manufacturer prepares budgets for sales, materials, labor, various overhead costs, production, and others. While all of these are important, it is probably safe to say that for most organizations, the cash budget is the most important. When businesses fail, they fail because they run out of cash. You might be surprised to learn that sometimes businesses have rapidly growing sales and yet they go bankrupt. How can that happen? It is because they didn't plan for their cash needs. You can avoid having that happen to your business by learning how to do a cash budget. It will even help you with your personal finances. Elon Musk. He's back to tweeting, having difficulties once again. So he tweets out that w they will make around 500,000 units in 2019. And then, not too long after, you say, oh, wait a second. Did I say 2000 <laughs> in 2019? I didn't mean that. I meant an annualized rate of 500,000. It's actually more like 400,000. So here is tweeting out numbers that could get investors pretty excited. In general, I'm thinking to myself, it might be good to go off Twitter for a <laughs> Just, little bit. Okay. It, you know how much I love making fun of yeah, Elon yeah. Musk? I do have to say that something similar happened to Continental Resources when they came out with oh, earnings. Is that right? Two words were left off of their earnings presentation that caused the stock to tumble like, I, I don't know, like 20% or so 12% or something. And then on the call the next morning, uh, the CEO came by, the, the president said, Jack Stark, he said, look, we forgot these words. What we meant was this, and then the stock rebounded. So, like, it happens. Uh, and, and I'm the first oh, 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 one in line to make fun of Elon Musk. And, and I'm the first one on the line to say I make mistakes, no question about it. But to your point about Twitter, even if you make a mistake in an earnings statement, at least people have looked at it, they've reviewed it, and okay, somebody made a mistake. This is why do you have to send out a tweet about that? Do you, are you having people check these things? Right, and it also seems like these numbers were potentially not too far off. There was, yeah. you know, saying uh, 500,000 vehicles in 2019. Did he mean they'd get there by 2019? But in, in 140 characters, sometimes it's difficult to be exacting and clear. And to your point, David, there's not as many people potentially vetting what you're saying to Which make sure it is clear. That. It's worse when you have like 15 people in IR looking over an earnings presentation, you keep messing up. But at least then you have somebody else to blame. Also to blame you. Yeah, okay. true. It's our first Valentine's Day here at Baby Cakes in Los Angeles, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so you're the owner of Baby Cakes NYC, the most popular health conscious vegan bakery in the city, and you've just opened your second store. But it's all the way across country in Los Angeles, and you're facing your first big holiday rush. So, how are you going to budget for it? First, let's go over some basics. Budgeting, which is defined as a written statement of management's plans for a specific period expressed in financial terms, is a cornerstone of planning for any business, large or small. Aside from doing the baking and the frosting and um, designing uniforms, I'm also in charge of all the budgeting and planning myself. Budgeting definitely makes us more efficient and helps us judge the performance of the company and it helps us be a little bit more responsible with spending. Once budgets are established, they become an important basis for evaluating future performance, they can motivate employees to meet objectives, they serve as a deterrent to waste, they promote efficiency, and they can serve as an early warning system. If I didn't budget, I would definitely overspend because there's so many things that I want to do for the bakery. It's like having a baby and you want to dress it up and you want to take it to Disney World and you want to make it as fun as possible. 
Sometimes people confuse budgeting with planning. Whereas planning focuses on long-term strategy, budgeting deals with short-term financial management. Budgets can be prepared for any period of time. In the case of baby cakes, Aaron prepares an annual budget, which is supplemented by quarterly budgets. From there, we know what we can buy, how much to put into certain items, and that way we can look at an extended period of sales trends, um, weather, holidays. Holidays like Valentine's Day, which brings us back to our starting point. With Valentine's Day quickly approaching, Erin needs to be sure that she has allocated enough resources to handle the rush, assuming there will be a rush in the new location. So how does she proceed? In business, a master budget normally contains two classes of budgets. Operating budgets, which we'll discuss in this video, and financial budgets. There are many different types of operating budgets, but we'll focus on the two that Erin uses predominantly. Budget goals, of course, are based on past performance, and in larger companies, data is collected from various organizational units, beginning several months before the end of the current year. Because it is derived from the sales forecast and every other budget depends on it, the sales budget is the first budget prepared. Normally, companies forecast sales by considering a variety of factors, but Erin doesn't always have all these at her disposal in the new LA bakery. It's going to be challenging to plan for Valentine's Day because we don't have past years that we've been at this location. In the absence of a sales history, she'll refer to data from her New York store for guidance. One thing she learned over the years is that Valentine's Day is not a holiday to be taken lightly. Our first Valentine's Day in New York, we baked a little bit more than usual, but right when we opened our door, there was a line, you know, snaking around the block and we couldn't bake fast enough or frost fast enough, so I learned my lesson very quickly that time. In terms of marketing, Erin keeps her holiday costs low in the new location by using her creativity and by making use of online social networks. We'll tweet that we have special sweetheart boxes two cupcakes in a window box and it looks like a little present. And things like heart-shaped cookies and that'll usually get the word out enough for us. Yeah. Is there a gluten allergy? I would go for the spelt ones then. Because Baby Cakes appeals to a very specific demographic, people with food allergies, Erin can't really look to chains like Sprinkles for industry trends. As a general rule, Erin tends to overbake rather than underbake so as not to disappoint her customers. In the event she doesn't move all of her product, she can always sell items the following day at reduced prices. The bottom line is that for small businesses, the sales forecasting process can be somewhat informal at times. Erin takes a very hands-on approach to her business, which allows her to spot trends, minimize waste, and trust her instincts. I, I, when I'm here and I'm seeing the waste, then the ideas come. And when I see the reactions to certain items, the donuts brings a really big emotional reaction from people. And if I didn't see that, then I wouldn't know to put more money into donut pans. And I would, for example, say the cornbread isn't selling, stop making it, you know? Like, it's, you see all the little details. Okay, now let's look at an example. In her LA store, let's say that Erin normally sells about 1,000 of the red velvet cupcakes a day at $3.50 each. On Valentine's Day, she expects to sell an additional 500 or 1,500 red velvet cupcakes total. So we multiply the expected unit sales by the unit selling price to obtain total sales, which in this case is 5,250 for the red velvet cupcakes. So she knows that she needs to ensure she has enough supplies to handle the production. Next, let's look at the production budget, which shows the units that must be produced to meet the anticipated sales. This is derived from the sales budget, plus the desired change in ending finished goods. In an ideal world, a bakery wants to end the day by selling all of its product. However, it needs to maintain supplies to produce the next day's product. The required production in units formula is budgeted sales units plus desired ending finished goods units minus beginning finished goods units equals required production units. So, if they sell 1,000 red velvet cupcakes each day on average, and they have to account for an extra 500 red velvet cupcakes on Valentine's Day, they'll not only have enough raw materials for the holiday, but for the days that follow. This is obviously a very simplified sample, but as you can imagine, it gets even more complicated when Aaron has to take into account different types of cupcakes and other products and flavors. 
need to sign the bottom. Thank you. Erin worked hard to budget for Valentine's Day in her new location. Despite not having much history to help guide her decisions, she relied on a combination of traditional budgeting techniques and informal budgeting intuition to help her make decisions. And the results, or lack of them, speak for themselves. Looks like it was a big success. Budgeted perfectly. She did extremely well in her planning with respect to her cupcakes, running out just before closing time. And best of all, she knows that she has enough supplies for tomorrow when the entire process starts all over again at 4 a.m. <laughs>